Hey guys, welcome to video lesson 4E. This is um, our fifth video in our um, uh, Unit 5 series. And uh, this video today is called Finding the Sale Price. So uh, just a quick note, when something's on sale, um, it means that the original price has been reduced. Um, oh my gosh. And by reduced, I mean to make smaller, um, the value of the original price is made cheaper, whether there's a sale, coupon. Um, so you'll pay le uh, less than the price that's on the tag. So let's take a look at this example. A pair of jeans costs $35. They're on sale for 25% off. What is the sale price? All right, so what I'm going to show you here is um, method one. So we're going to use the first time equation, A equals P times W. Now, um, the pair of jeans cost $35. So 35 is the original cost. It's the whole value of what they are. Um, so what we're going to do is find what 25% of 35 is. So what we're going to do is set 25% as P and the cost of the jeans as W. So we're going to find the part that we're going to take off the jeans. How much are we going to save? So if you grab your calculators and do 0.25 times 35, we get $8.75. Now, if you notice here, I label everything um, because I like to know what all my numbers represent. This might be helpful for some of you if you get lost in your work. So $8.75, this is your discount. So to find the sale price, if my pants were $35 and I'm saving $8.75, what do you think I'm going to do with the two numbers? And uh, hopefully you're saying subtraction. So sale is equal to the original minus the discount. So I'm going to take $35 original minus my discount of $8.75 and I get $26.25. So a second way to look at this is, um, you know, we're looking for the part that we're going to save. Um, P which is our percent, um, if we are saving 25% from 100%, um, this could also mean that we pay 75% of the jeans. And W would represent the cost of the item. So if we do A equals P times W, um, I would do 0.75, because that's how much I'm paying, times... 35, which is the cost of the jeans, um, my A, the part that I'll be paying, is $26.25. So method two, we subtract our discount from 100%, and we immediately get our answer. Or in method one, we first find the discount and then subtract second. So it's a matter of where do you want to subtract. Do you want to subtract um, your discount after you find it, or do you want to subtract um, your percentage right off the top and get your sale price right off the top? So you decide which method is easier. I'm not going to force you to do one method or the other. You choose. So here are two more examples. So we have a skateboard that originally cost $50. There's a 20% discount on the skateboard. What is the sale price? So the skateboard is your W, that's the whole cost, that's the original price. Um, and 0.20 is our discount, so that's our P. So A equals P times W. Uh, most students like this method because it's easier to follow. Um, so if I multiply P times W, I get 10. So remember, sale price is original minus discount. So I'm going to do 50 minus 10. So that means the sale price of the skateboard is $40. Um, if you like method one, here it is. Here's method two. Um, what we're going to do, since we save 20%, we're going to do 100% minus 20 to get 80%. So we put 0.80 in here times 50, which is the original cost. 
So the selling price or the sale price is $40. Okay, and finally in example three, we have a $15 t-shirt on sale for $35. So what we're going to do to figure out what the sale price of the t-shirt is, here's method one. We're going to use A equals C times W. Uh, we're going to plug in uh, 0.35 as our decimal for 35% and our W, the uh, original cost of the shirt uh, for 15W. So if you put in your calculator 0.35 times 15, you should get $5.25. So remember, our discount, our sale price is original minus discount. So the original cost is $15 minus uh, $5.25, and we get $9.75 as a sale price. So that's method one. And our second method we're going to use A equals P times W. So remember, we're saving 35%. So what we can do is 100% minus 35, and we get 65%. So 65% or 0.65 times 15 gives us $9.75, which is our sale price. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.